everyone, time for another vlog. Now this week I wanted to talk about something special because this was a special week, at least for Doctor Who fans. Because this week, 10 years ago, Doctor Who returned to the screens. It had been off for years and then it became a thing. Now, the interesting thing for me is that this is a really important time in Who history for one reason and one reason alone. The Ninth Doctor was my first Doctor. Christopher Eccleston was the first person that I ever saw step out of the TARDIS. And, uh, although technically I saw him step into the TARDIS before I saw him step out because the Way of Rose was set up. But anyway, unimportant. The point is that sometimes I think that the era of Doctor Who where the Ninth Doctor was indeed the Doctor, sort of gets short shrift. At the time, they were experimenting with bringing the show back, and if you look back at some of the interviews from the time and everything, people really weren't sure if it was going to work. At that point, it was an experiment. Hard to believe when you think about the juggernaut that Doctor Who is nowadays um, in the Capaldi era, um, or Matt Smith, or David Tennant. But the great part is that we sort of forget that in that day it was an experiment. We were trying to bring back a show that at that point was a punchline in British history, where by the point it got cancelled, hardly anyone liked the show. It was sort of this cult thing at that point. And even when you had something like the Dimensions and Time special, for instance, that they had, a lot of people saw that as a joke, although fair dues to the actors, all of them played that straight as a stick. So it made it kind of awesome. <laughs> um, although some pe not many people like Dimensions in Time, so there's that. But the point is that without Christopher Eccleston, without Russell T. Davies, without all of these people that were behind the scenes, uh, the people in front of the camera, like Billy Piper, Christopher Eccleston, John Barrowman, um, and the people behind the camera, like I said, Russell T. Davies, the production crew, all of these people. There's too many to name, but the point is the people in front of the camera and behind the camera, we would not have Doctor Who. Um, we would not have David Tennant. For some of you, that's a big deal and it'll make you pause. Um, we would not have Matt Smith. We would not have the awesome Peter Capaldi now doing this. None of this would actually exist if it weren't for that Ninth Doctor. So, for those of you that are Doctor Who fans out there, take a second. Just think, if it weren't for Christopher Eccleston and Russell T. Davies and all of the efforts of that crew, we would not have the awesome show that we had nowadays. And who knows, me personally, I don't know if I would have ever gotten into Doctor Who. I remember the first time whenever he grabbed Rose's hand and said, Run! I was like, okay. We've got window shop dummies, autons, uh, and they, which, by the way, did you notice they never said the phrase autons in that original story? It, it, nesting consciousness got mentioned, but never autons. Hmm. I had to find out what they were called later. Uh, but from that, I ended up diving back into Doctor Who history, and I found my Doctor in the Fifth Doctor. But again, none of that would have happened if it weren't for the original one. So, just take a moment. No matter who you're a fan of, what Doctor you like. And for classic fans, you get to share in the joy of the new fans, because there are some people that just like the new series, you know, what can we say? ADD with some people, right? Um, but yeah, things like going through Who, for instance, would not exist. This thing that I'm doing with my mom and Jacob wouldn't exist if it weren't for Eccleston. So, I just give a little bit of salute to... The, well, let's make this British, shall we? A bit of a British salute to... Christopher Eccleston, Russell T. Davies, Billy Piper, and the entire cast and crew of that first season of the revamped Doctor Who. Because without you, it wouldn't be the phenomenon it is today. So, yeah, something special I wanted to say. So anyway, if you guys want to find all of my other vlogs, you can go to tscn.tv slash vlog. And if you are a Doctor Who fan and you're wanting to check out Doctor Who in the past, before Eccleston even thought about being the Doctor, you can go to tscn.tv slash going through who. Currently we have two seasons up. Season three is coming this November, as usual. So until next time, live your life and check out some Doctor Who. It's time. See you guys. This has been a production of the Samcast Network. TSCN. TV. What's your passion?